What's a deal breaker no matter how attractive the girl or boy is? Please consider subscribing if you enjoy the video. Usually it's me. I'm a deal breaker. When they always compare you to their ex. Avoiding a problem by ignoring it and when confronted with said problem refuses to have a mature conversation about it. Not just stupid, but helplessness. Someone who might not know something but lacks the motivation to find out. You may be very good looking but if you're so used to everyone figuring out answers for you that you're helpless and lazy. Goodbye. As flattering as it might seem in the beginning. I find it really off-putting when a guy doesn't want to maintain any of his independence or passions. Seriously? Go out with your friends. Listen to the music you like. Keep up the hobbies you enjoy. Etc. We have plenty of time to share experiences together. But we don't need to live the same life 24 slash 7. Needing to tear others down to build themselves up. Inability to take accountability for their own mistakes. Inability to take initiative and reciprocate. Arrogance. Self-entitlement. Inflated ego. We all struggle with these things. But for some people there isn't a single moment where they are willing to be introspective and realize that. Hey. Maybe sometimes shit is your fault. Not that it is about who is at fault. But in order to move forward in a relationship you can't expect the other person to make all the changes. Temper tantrums. I refuse to put up with a childish behavior. Being generally negative. I went on a date with a girl once to a bar she went to all the time. She proceeded to point out the people she considered her enemies. I did not go on any more dates with her. Serial liar. Nope nope nope. This is going to be really self-centered. But I can't date a girl who doesn't think I'm funny. Women who talk a little too much shit about their friends. Also, people who can't take a joke. I genuinely don't mind being the butt of your jokes. But you should be willing to take the heat too. Lack of communication. I don't need you to be in constant contact with me. But if you are only going to say something once a week to figure out when we are going to meet up. I am probably going to forget about you very quickly. No sense of humor. Or a sense of humor incompatible with mine. You cheated on me. When I specifically asked you not to. Playing hard to get frick that it's the current year I don't have time for this shit. If they are constantly competing with you and can't let you be good at something without being better themselves. In their view. Had a girlfriend for too long who did this. Thankfully it's over now. Who couldn't let me have my moments of joy when I did something good in the video games we played and always talked it down and said how she did something else better so she was the superior. What makes it worse is that I am a humble person normally so the moments I say out loud are important for me. When I do it, those getting destroyed anyways feel super bad and made me sad too often. Being a highly extroverted go-getter that can't spend a bloody weekend at home without panicking. Willful ignorance. I don't believe I'm the smartest cookie in the room, but I try to educate myself. I always want to learn more about the world. Someone without a similar passion for learning would not have my respect. I once dated a guy who didn't know what offense was, and it was a huge turn off. I also dated a guy who hated when I tried to split the bill. Equals. He bought the movie tickets. So I thought it would be fair if I paid for the coffee. He didn't like that. So I knew it wouldn't work out. Being rude to children. Pets. Or people who are trying to do their jobs. Trying to control my free time. When I come from work and finish studying for a bit I'm gonna want to play video games or something. I need to unwind. You're more than welcome to join me but if we can only do what you want to do then it's a deal breaker. Buries rocks in the woods. Calls it magic. Nope. Bathe hygiene. Seriously? It's not that hard to brush your teeth and use deodorant. Being mean or rude to my friends. Family or other people. I don't care if you're all nice and kind to me. But if you treat other people around you and I so rudely, it's a no-go. Constant one-upping or being on their phones in a social circle. Bad breath. When they suplex me through the table and take my championship belt. Has anybody said heroin yet? Because heroin is a major deal breaker. Marilyn Monroe profile picture for girls. Expensive car he doesn't own for guys. Brace for crazy. Boring in bed. I am a kinky guy. I'm not giving that up. Poor sense of humor. If I can't drop outrageous puns with you or you can't appreciate senseless YouTube videos, it's just not going to work. Them being into me. I can't trust someone with such poor judgment. No deal breakers. I'm desperate. I'll take anything. Someone who parks in a handicap spot when they don't need it. Inclination slash history of cheating. In all forms. I've been down that road twice before. And no matter how much you think maybe our relationship will be different. 
It's never going to be. You'll be just another notch in their belt. No matter how attractive a guy is aesthetically, the moment he starts acting like a rude slash obnoxious slash entitled slash ignorant slash generally unpleasant asshole, I'm immediately repulsed. Once I realize someone's a dick, they become ugly to me. No matter what their appearance. I always have issues with this question because, like, how attractive are we talking here? The average pretty person yeah I have a lot of deal breakers but if some mythical dick whisperer appears and gives me a brain sapping erection faster than I can think while hitting the checklist for all my fetishes she could probably call my granny. A cunt and throw a puppy into a wood chipper and I'd still toss her salad. Constantly on their phones slash social media. You're not that big of a deal. No one really cares. All your selfies look the same. If they have children. I don't have any. I really don't want to care for yours. Super religious. Scrolling through Tinder and I see God comes first. I love Jesus automatically skip them. Doesn't matter what they look like. Decapitation. I won't date anyone without a head. Drugs. I'm not talking alcohol or weed but if you got a daily habit with those then that can be a problem as well. I've hung out with people who would do coke in front of me or would sneak off to do something harder and it makes me really uncomfortable. Extremely religious. Doesn't matter the religion. I'm agnostic and the other party will more than likely have a problem with me not having some sort of faith. I'm open to any and all religions but in a relationship it's a hard thing to overcome unless the other person is respectful to your beliefs. Passive aggressive bullshit. Being extremely hard headed. People who chew with their mouth open. Also guys who like to titty frig. Don't tell your girlfriend that her breasts aren't big enough. My ex spent our whole 4 month relationship trying to get me to buy an overpriced tea program to get my B cup to a C cup. He legit told me he wanted my boobs to be as big as my sister's or my best friend. My best friend wears an E. He wanted me to talk her into a threesome. She's a lesbian. He didn't get that. Not wanting kids. I want kids and I don't want to try to change somebody into wanting kids. I want to be with someone who wants to start a family with me. Well as an adult them being a girl or boy instead of a woman or men kind of kills the deal. If they don't like onions, get the frick out. Honestly I hate clinginess. As a 21 year old male, sometimes I just want to chill out do me and play games or hang with my dog. Doesn't mean I don't like you or am with other girls. Seriously a turn off. Being a fan of insane clown posse. People like what they like. But that's the only one that makes me instantly go no freaking way. If I'm on a date and they say anything along the lines of if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best, yeah we're done here. For me it's bad hygiene. You can be the sexiest girl in the world but if you smell it's an instant turn off. Not partially sweat or dirty body smell but bad breath and lower body smells. The worst for me is what I call shit sweat which is when a girl hasn't cleaned the inside of her butt cheeks and you get the pungent stench of a mixture between sweat and shit. Girls with big asses are partially prone to this and they are often unaware. I had to break up with a girl I loved for this reason despite having the awkward and embarrassing conversation about her terrible hygiene. She was deeply embarrassed and bathed often after that but soon reverted to her usual self. It's not nice when you have to hold your breath for the whole duration of sex. I guess someone just don't really care. In my opinion, if you are sexually active, you should be in the shower slash bath daily. Body odor. I took this beautiful girl on a date to a bowling alley and after a few games we left to go eat, in the car. I smelled this foul B.O. and kept surreptitiously checking to see if it was me, it was definitely not. After I realized it was her, I couldn't end the date fast enough. Being dead, for longer than an hour. No respect for the banjo equals no date. Being totally dismissive towards mental illnesses and the implications of them, they have completely defined my whole existence and as soon as someone I may happen to be seeing laughs off depression or psychosis then I know we will never connect on the level that I need in a partner. If a chick goes a, uh, after every sip of whatever she's drinking, get the frick out. Inability to carry on a mature conversation, where we can theorize and discuss issues without getting personally offended by any topic that doesn't agree with our personal worldview. As Aristotle said, it is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. On the same thread, closed mindedness. I don't care if you fully agree with literally every opinion I hold, if you're not willing to consider alternatives, then you are not able to learn new things and you will not be very interesting to be around. Also, fairness and a kind spirit. If you'd rather be mean to someone than be nice to someone, I doubt that will get along very well. Lying casually to others. Treating those less powerful than themselves poorly. Service staff and animals are usually good indicators. Smoking. Not judgmental. 
I smoked for several years, but gross. Being a really picky eater, not liking a ton of different foods, not being into me, also, AIDS. My girlfriend is Brazilian, she puts ketchup on her pizza, I'm this close to breaking up with her. Conspiracy theories, denies accepted science, doesn't like cats. Ambitious and goal-oriented, I'm lazy and happy where I am so no, I'm not gonna fight for a promotion to afford a bigger house, don't wanna set milestones in our relationship, and I know it's Friday night but can we just stay home with Netflix and popcorn. Having no direction in life or drive to do anything, it gets really tiring hearing I'm tired as an excuse for not doing anything for months and months and months. Also, if you have the palate of a 5 year old, tomato sauce, carbs, and chicken cannot make up every freaking meal. If they smoke, disgusting habit. Please subscribe if you like the video, it really helps the channel to grow. Adios.